I saw this and thought it would be a good idea, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. So we're gonna start out with our white base coat. This is Opaque White by uh, Createx. Okay. Let's turn it up just a tad bit. And we will start painting it. Right, that'll be good enough. Uh, all we have to do now is just clean our airbrush out. And I use a syringe and to just clean it out. And I got some water in a little jug here. And then I got my trash can uh, that I just poured this in. Let me actually turn air compressor a good bit up. That'll help feed it out. Do that once and then uh, kind of clean it out with my microfiber towel that I have here. It is, it is extremely important to make sure that you get all the paint out. Not just, you know, a small amount, but all of it. And so that's what we're doing. making sure we get it all out. And another reason I use a syringe is because I can get in just to certain spots where I can see the paint still left over. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and take my towel and put it on it so it'll kind of bubble out. Clean it out one more time, and then do the process just one more time, just for good measure. Next step is to do a uh, white underbelly, just the bottom of it, because the sides of it are also going, are also going to be yellow, but they're going to be a different kind of yellow. So this is uh, opaque yellow. It's also by Createx. We don't need much of it, just a little bit. Go ahead and turn our air compressor back down. Too much. And we'll do the belly. Okay. All right, 
right, so we got the belly of it, yellow, opaque yellow. And I'm not going to completely clean it out this time because I'm going to do another yellow right after it, but it's going to be just a darker yellow. I do want to get a, a majority of it out, just not, it don't have to be completely clean. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn it back down. All right, so the next color we're going to use is a uh, darker yellow, and it is actually called ochre. Um, if you can see that, it's ochre, and it's by uh, U.S. Art Supply Airbrush Colors. I love these. These are um, really good airbrush paint. Um, but before I do that, let me go ahead and heat set this. Right there, we go. Let's go ahead and put our yellow ochre in here. That might be enough, maybe. All right, and then what we're going to do here is do the sides of it all up to the top. Go ahead and do the back too, why not? Alright, so just like that. And now we do need to actually clean our airbrush completely out because now we're going with a different color. So let's get this cleaned out. And I'm showing you this whole process just to show you that it don't take that long to clean your airbrush out. Uh, I mean, you don't have to do it exactly the way I am. But you need to find a way that works best for you. Because I'm telling you, if you let your airbrush just build up with uh, airbrush paint, you're going to ruin a good gun. We'll do that one more time, just for good measure. Cause, oh, Cause it still is a little dark in there. Beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and heat set this real quick. Now, the uh, picture I saw of the crankbait had black dots all over it. So what I'm going to do is actually use just my good old uh, paint pen. Uh, I got these at Hobby Lobby. It's a, it's a Pigma brush. They had them on sale, believe it or not. And I'm just going to dot it. It's little dots here and there. only at the top of it I don't and, and toward the middle I don't want to go too far down and you'll see why in a minute okay
right? Just like that right there. And now we'll do the other side. Okay. bit more and I think we'll be good to go. Yeah, okay. So let's air dry that real quick. Got a heat set up. So the next step is we need to add green highlight to this. And what we're gonna do is actually use some stencils that I have here. Uh, I think this stencil is gonna be perfect for what I wanna do. So let me get a couple of my alligator clips. Okay. I'm gonna plop it right up on there. Right. One clip, two clips, and well, that's off a little bit, ain't it? Maybe I ain't scratching it too bad. I'm afraid that I am. Oh, I see why. I'm actually going to take it off this um, clamp here. Now then, can I put it back on there? I can. All right. So what we're going to do is actually do a light green in this stencil. So the color I have is a uh, green pearl. And it's also by the U.S. Air Supply Airbrush Colors. And it is a, it is a, a light green. So we'll use a little bit of it. We don't want too much of it. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our air compressor back, back down. And let's go ahead and color this in. Okay, so I don't want it real dark. Okay, just like that. Whoop. Just like that. All right. All we gotta do now is just clean, uh, is to uh, get this remaining paint out of our brush and then continue. And we don't have to completely clean it because we're going to another green. Now before we continue, let's go ahead and heat set it. Right, let's pop it off this. Take it off. Alright. So this is what it looks like right now. Back. The next green I'm going to use is by Createx and it's opaque light green. Uh, it, it says light green, but it's actually a little bit darker. Okay, let's turn the air compressor down. Right there. And we want to get the top half of this. Air 
Thunderbird she's got. She's got a bubble or something in it. There's what we got for the time being. And now we need to completely clean our airbrush out because this stuff is super thick for some reason. Yeah, it's really thick. Sometimes Createx airbrush paint can be really thin um, and be ready to be poured right into your airbrush. And then there are other times like this where it really needs to be thinned down. <laughs> It's just about clean now. And I cannot tell you how important this step really is. This step is crucial in the longevity. I used a big word there. The longevity of your airbrush. You want your airbrush to last as long as possible. Because these are not cheap by no means. I mean, they're not crazy expensive. Now, you can get some really expensive ones, but... I don't think you want to be spending, you know, $130, $150, sometimes $200 or more for an airbrush, and then ruin it. Okay. So, the next step... Um, is we need to let me see what color is this let's go ahead and take some red here this is a crimson red by a u.s air supply and i want to add a little red down at the bottom here at the neck and then i want it to come up to the sides here just a little bit to where the gills are at we don't have to do much on it but i want to add just a tad bit so, I'm going to turn the airbrush down. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's nice right there. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Okay, so that's all the red we need. So you don't put much paint in here. Just put a little bit of paint. Now, see, I don't kind of have an idea. So right now, just looking at the lure, I'm not particularly fond of it. I'm, I'm really not. I don't like the way it's turning out. But I'm going to tell you that some of uh, my most successful lures have been lures that I didn't particularly like the way it looked while I was painting it. 
but it was after I put a clear coat on it when it really came to life. Um, Now, by no means, no means do I try to paint something that looks lifelike because I cannot, <laughs> I'm not that good at all. Let's go ahead and heat set this real quick. Yeah, I've just never been able to paint anything that's lifelike. Maybe later on I can, but right now I cannot. We have a uh, red paint pen, and we're going to do a little color around the gills, just a little bit. But um, this is why I paint lures. This is why I paint lures like this. Um, because this is what I'm, I'm better at, is painting lures. They don't really have um, a lot of detail in it. Uh, they don't really look like a fish, but yet will catch bait. Now, there's some people out there. There we go. Just a little bit of red on there. Now, there's some people out there that can take this and make it look like an actual fish. I cannot do that. Never been able to. Let me see something. I'm gonna... Oh no, that's too dark. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's do it anyways. Uh-oh. Yeah. Ew. I'm getting too old and fat for all that. So I got a blue paint pen, and uh, right here, where you see it's got those little spots, those little carve, curvatures, whatever I'm calling. I'm gonna use this blue paint pen and fill that up, and uh, see how it goes. And it may be a big mistake, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Now, one way to find out if something is a mistake, and that is to actually do it. And then if it is a mistake, you know next time not to do it. Because it had actually a little spot right there we need to do. Okay. Just a little spot right there. I'm going to follow it down. Okay. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. In a way, for some reason. Um, let's darken this side up just a tad bit more to match the other side. Okay. And then, uh, <clears throat> the last step is to add some black to it. But as always, I'm going to put mesh over it. You know, that's something that I do. Go ahead and get our alligator clips here. And, uh, uh -oh. we'll fold this over. And all this is is the piece of loofah that you uh, wash with when you're taking a shower. That's all it is. Mm, you know, you can go to. Dollar Tree and get a loofah for a dollar, or um, you can get them at um, Dollar General for a dollar, Walmart for a dollar. Uh, now, you can't spend a lot on them at Walmart, but I mean, no need for it. So, the last color is going to be a uh, Createx color, it's just opaque black. Okay, just a little bit. Let's turn our air compressor back down. And then we're just going to hit the top of it. Ever so lightly. Okay, a little bit right there. How's that look? Yeah, that's good. Same thing here. 
beautiful. Beautiful. That was that. Compared to the other side, this side needs to be just a tad bit darker. Um, and I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to go down the sides. Just to give it a little something something. Don't know why I want to, but... Alright, so let's go ahead and heat set this real quick. clips off. Carefully pull it back. All right. It's not anything fancy, but it's got just a little bit on it, and then we'll do the top of it with just straight black. You know, that's how I roll. Okay. Move it around the nose here. And around the eyes just a little bit. Okay. And there we go. And that's it. It's not anything fancy. But I like it nonetheless.